for being here. Uh, my name is Erika Denis. I'm uh, the uh, regional head for uh, media, film and music for the French Embassy. I'm also the director of uh, the Digital of Africa. Uh, some of you were there yesterday where we did the launch of the second edition of the lab and um, uh, we were really happy to um, welcome our main uh, partner, our strategic partners and uh, to launch this second edition after the uh, very successful first edition we had and um, uh, later in this presentation you will uh, be able to uh, listen to the uh, the story, the success story of the incubation of the last year winner. Uh, but, um, uh, but first of all, we would like to um, uh, say a few words about um, a, a project, uh, of a new project of collaboration for the Digital Lab. Uh, thanks, uh, um, thanks for the success of the first edition of the Lab. Uh, we uh, came to um, a very uh, challenging and innovating collaboration with uh, um, a very strong partner here in, uh, in Johannesburg and um, I'm uh, very pleased to, uh, to welcome with me uh, the, uh, the CEO of the Chimol Gong and, and uh, the Professor Dolaski, uh, who uh, is the father of this uh, wonderful uh, project uh, within the Wits University and uh, with whom we have um, this wonderful uh, and uh, exciting um, uh, incubation uh, project we would like to introduce to you today. So, uh, Professor, can you say a few words maybe to introduce uh, Chimolo Gong present? So, um, hi everyone. I'll just move where I'm not looking into the light. Um, but um, um, I don't know if there's, if there's anyone here that's yet visited us in Bramfontein, if people seen Simolochong. So it's, um, it's a space that really is long overdue. If you travel anywhere in the world today, in any big city, I'm sure you'll find an area where digital innovation uh, happens. So I'm sure you could, could name almost any big city in Europe and there would be somewhere where the, where the um, as we call them, the nerds and the geeks gather and create digital innovation, either hardware, software, content. And we, we've lacked such a space in Johannesburg. So, and why Johannesburg? Why should we have it? Well, firstly, Johannesburg is in um, the, the, the economic heart, not only of South Africa, but Africa. Uh, our province that we're in, Gauteng province, accounts for 40% of the GDP of South Africa, which is about 10% of GDP of Africa, comes from this one province. And it's more focused than just the province. It's surround. Um, greater Johannesburg. So Johannesburg is very much at the heart of our economy and if Africa is going to play a role in the fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0 whatever we're going to call it then we as Africans have to become innovators and creators of the technology and content that will lie at the heart of the digital revolution. So we, we've been very eager to create a space in central Johannesburg that will be worthy of the fact that we're such an important hub, um, economic hub. And we've renovated five old buildings and it's looking really great. We've got this wonderful space and we're now looking at how we occupy the space, how we use it. So our three focal points are skills development, entrepreneurship and innovation, and then small business acceleration. So we, we want to grow new businesses and grow skills for the digital economy. And in the existing Chimolochong, we're doing that in, in a generic sense, but working with our, um, our um, colleagues from the French Embassy, we are looking at doing something very special in the digital content space. So we'll 
create a dedicated space that would have, and if you can picture this as a concept, it might not be like this in reality, but if you picture a four-story building, and on the ground floor there'll be gee whiz stuff happening in the digital content space, so people will be able to come and see the latest animation, the latest virtual reality and mixed reality, and anything that's world-class and cutting edge in a space where it can be demonstrated. On the second, on the, if, 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 if that's the ground floor, the first floor of our building will be a skills academy where we'll grow skills to produce digital content. The third floor of our conceptual building will be a big studio space where people will work for clients, but also part of learning, producing the content that is needed. And then right at the top of our building will be an incubator where new businesses focused on digital content will start up and get going. And they'll feed their amazing creations back to the ground floor where we'll be able to show this wonderful stuff that's being produced. So we, we really see Joburg as being an important hub. And in the content space and in Bramfontein, we uh, want it to be a, an important content hub. And then our dream is to link up with the amazing industry in France where people are doing this and where we can bring the greatest and best in the world to Africa, to link up with partners in Africa and make this a real African hub. So that's the vision and we're working hard to make it happen. So anyone interested in finding out more, you can speak to Eric or myself, and we'll tell you how far we are, but that's what we're trying to do. Thank you very much, um, and um, please correct me if I'm wrong, Professor, but uh, one of the reasons why you came to us uh, was, I think, because of the a recognition of the digital lab also and uh, and the, the, uh, the ability of the digital lab to um, connect with young talents and uh, and uh, innovative talents uh, from the market here and uh, also uh, because uh, you are looking to uh, uh, build a pan-african uh, project and uh, both francophone and anglophone so um, we are very happy uh, to work on this project uh, with you and um, uh, like you said, we will be uh, um, really happy also to discuss uh, further with uh, partners that will be interested in getting involved with us as we are uh, speaking of uh, skill building, capacity building, expertise exchange. And, uh, and uh, at this stage, uh, we are discussing with more than 20 French key players within the ICC markets, both uh, coming from uh, public institution, private sector, I can uh, drop, <laughs> name drop a few, uh, one of them. Uh, we are, we've got a partnership with the SASEM already in place. We are speaking with a French, very innovative cluster at La Gaité Lyrique, as uh, Cap Digital. And uh, uh, we're also speaking with a very innovative platform like Quant. And uh, so the list of interested uh, company in France is uh, um, long and it's thanks to the attractiveness I think of the, uh, what you already did within the precinct so thanks a lot uh, is there any question uh, regarding this project It's really not a question I just want to say thank you what you are doing for the industry um, we've we followed what um, they did and it's just amazing um, you're giving a platform to us local industry fellows and it's just amazing so I'm sure they've caused a lot of traction through you and we just want to say thanks okay and just carry on doing that please we love it that's all awesome <laughs> go big So if there's no other question, uh, we, we will follow up this presentation with um, um, a more uh, detailed presentation of the incubation process of last year winners of the Digital Lab uh, Incubator. And maybe we will start with um, five short videos.
uh, presenting uh, the, uh, the success story of the last year winner. Springboard for new talent and a platform for digital content in Africa. You are an artist, a student, or entrepreneur? You have a project in one of these five categories? Digital music, web creation, virtual reality, animation, video game? Submit your project, pitch it, and make it happen. Get a chance to have your creation produced and distributed with mentorship and support from the best companies in their field, residence time in France, and participation in benchmark events. Apply now on digitallabafrica.com. Digital Lab Africa, start up the future. Proudly presented by the French Institute of South Africa. Okay, so this was the trailer, so now the success stories. DLA's got digital talent in Nigeria. Get into Arya Daddy Phenomenon, the animated web series created by Ayodele Alegba, DLA's first edition winner. Funny, educative, trendy, family friendly, what else? Probably supported by Digital Lab Africa. DLA call for applications number two is now live. Submit your project, pitch it, and make it happen. Go to digilabafrica.com. Digital Lab Africa, a and a platform for digital content in Africa. DLA's got talent in South Africa. Immerse in the seventh turn of virtual reality experienced by Yetu Dande Dada and Sherifa Ali are DLA's first edition winners. Thanks to DLA, the seventh turn will be co-produced by French virtual reality studio Okio. Be ready, VR is coming. Proudly supported by Digital Lab Africa. DLA call for applications number two is now live. Submit your project, pitch it, and make it happen. Go to digilabafrica.com. Digital Lab Africa, a springboard for new talent and a platform for digital content in Africa. DLA's got digital talent in Congo. Try out Basics, the digital music platform by Baya Siamala, DLA's first edition winner. Simply the best of Congolese and African music in one app. Proudly supported by Digital Lab Africa. DLA call for applications number two is now live. Submit your project, pitch it, and make it happen. Go to digilabafrica.com. Digital Lab Africa, a springboard for new talent and a platform for digital content in Africa. DLA's got digital talent in Ivory Coast. Play with video game points created by the young startup Works are DLA's first edition winners. Ready to contest? Proudly supported by Digital Lab Africa. DLA call for applications number two is now live. Submit your project, pitch it, and make it happen. Go to digilabafrica.com. So uh, that was uh, the five uh, projects that were incubated by the first edition of the lab. And now you, it's my great pleasure to introduce one of our last year mentors, uh, Alexandre Rideau, who was the mentor of the animation project. Uh, and uh, Alexandre will um, describe a little bit further the incubation process and the status of the production uh, today. So thank you. Thank you, Erika. Um, hello, everyone. Woo, this is the light. Uh, I'm not uh, from Nigeria, <laughs> and my name is not Ayodele, so thus I'm not the creator of Area Daddy. Uh, unfortunately, Ayodele was unable to, to join us uh, at this scope. Uh, he hasn't been able to, to get his visa, uh, and that's a pity because Ayodele is a great man, and along uh, the, the last 12 months, we have developed a, a, a business relationship, uh, but also a, a real friendly relationship together. And I'm very sad because he's not here today, 
we also became very good at pitching this project together, so I miss my buddy today. <laughs> but I'm going to try to do uh, as, uh, uh, as well as I can to tell you uh, the story, this beautiful story of a, of a reunion of a, a producer. I'm Alex. I'm based in Dakar. I lived for 15 years in Dakar, and I produce fiction and uh, dramas in, uh, in Senegal, but uh, for French-speaking countries. And, uh, and there's Ayo Dele, who's a, who's a talented uh, a comic, uh, comics artist. He, he, he creates comic books. And a few years ago, he has developed in Lagos his own animation studio, uh, spoof animation. Uh, not only is designing his own animation, but also is training new uh, uh, Nigerian talents there and uh, is developing amazing, uh, amazing ideas. And I've been very lucky to, uh, to select and, 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 and really insist last year in order to get him uh, to win the, the, the process. So how did it happen? It happened uh, with, uh, with um, first of all, um, 20 applications that I had to evaluate. It was uh, in September 2016. Last year, I was uh, on holiday in Italy, and instead of uh, of uh, going to the uh, beach and to swim, I spent my days, all long days, watching the different applications, yours <laughs> among some, and, uh, and the different files. And I have to admit that uh, they were very good projects. I mean, I would, it, it has been very difficult to uh, select winners uh, last year, and I hope it would be the same same thing, and I'm sure it's going to be for the second round. It's been very difficult. I was very uh, impressed by the quality of, uh, of the projects we've received. Uh, I've worked for over 10 years uh, on the continent. I've uh, seen many different kinds of, uh, of, uh, of applications for, for web series, for series, for, for also for digital projects. But the, the, the project that I had to evaluate and that have been submitted were very top projects. And, um, but Aria Daddy was fun because it was, uh, it, it has, it was funny. It was, the, the pitch it was very good. As I, for those who were here yesterday, they know, but I'm going to repeat, it's the African Simpsons. So it tells the life, the everyday life of an African family in Lagos and the inter intergenerational conflicts between the parents who are a little bit uh, passé, a little bit uh, old school, and the kids who are spending their days on the web and on Facebook. And uh, it's very funny. And also, it had another quality, uh, something that uh, is important to us producers. It's cheap. <laughs> It doesn't cost much. And I think that uh, it's, it's to be able to design like very funny stories, appealing to, to, uh, to a, a large popular crowd, and at the same time to make it uh, for a very good uh, ratio, uh, uh, cost efficiency ratio, was uh, also a very good uh, reason for me to select this project. What did we do, uh, Ayodele and I, over 12 months? But we talked a lot on the phone first on the phone, on Skype, on WhatsApp, through emails, on Facebook a lot. And we discussed a lot about this project. And we uh, really uh, uh, w took time to get to know each other better and took time to refine this project to make it as appealing as possible for, of course, the general public and also, of course, for different funders that we would have to approach later on uh, the, uh, that year. We also develop pitch and storylines, story ideas for, to develop a f first season of storylines and uh, story ideas. It took us lots of time because the concept is fun, uh, the characters are great, but what are we going to tell? What are we going to say with them? So we developed 26 storylines together and, um, and we developed a script, a whole script for a pilot. And we funded, I funded uh, uh, Ayodele's pilot. So for over two months with his team, they developed the pilot right on time. It was, they finished 48 hours before ANSI Festival. <laughs> so he was able to fly to France with the pilot on a USB key. We watched the pilot together on the first day of the Festival of ANSI. I was very pleased with it, but it was, there was no subtitles, it was just in English. So at the very last moment, we had to add subtitles to the pilot for the French public there. And, uh, and we showcased the pilot and, and then see. And uh, we are very pleased with the, the, the reception from a public who is 
aware of Africa, not, of, not an African crowd. We uh, generated a lot of love and, uh, and a very positive feedback. And calls, uh, uh, I mean meetings from television stations who uh, really wanted to meet with Ayodele uh, to find uh, how to uh, uh, work with him. So just a week after, he spent uh, 10 days in Paris, not, not 10 days, 7 days in Paris, a full week in Paris, to meet with television stations, television producers, uh, to meet with other creators, animators uh, in France, to meet with the people at Lagardère Studio that I'm working with, uh, so the, from the different production companies. Uh, he also met uh, with friends of mine who are comic books. So he did a lot of different meetings, get to know uh, Paris and, uh, and the, the creative people in Paris. So it was a business trip and also I think, I hope, and I hope it was the same for you too, like an, an eye-opening trip and, uh, and also maybe a way to connect and to, uh, to break the wall. Because, I mean, we're all familiar with this huge wall that there is in Africa between French-speaking countries and English-speaking countries. We never get to talk to each other. We never know what's going on in the countries uh, that are French-speaking countries for you or English-speaking English -speaking countries for us. So I think it's good that Digital Lab of uh, Africa to... It's a good opportunity to break the wall and to get to know a little bit more to each other. And uh, so I'm, I would have loved Ayodele to tell you all this in his own words. I hope, really hope that, uh, that uh, the experience was as good for him as uh, it is or it has been for me. The good thing now is that we are in a very uh, close relationship uh, and negotiations with uh, partners. And I have, um, it's a bit too early for me to announce anything, but I have high hopes that before the end of the year, we're going to be able to announce the production of his first season for the, 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 the Aria Daddy. And, uh, and uh, I hope what's going to be for us the beginning of a, of a great relationship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Alexandre, for this uh, very passionate uh, presentation of the project and uh, passionate uh, relationship with your uh, the, uh, the incubate of the, of the lab. Uh, I think uh, one of the reasons why the lab was a success last year is because also of the involvement of the mentors. And uh, I can say that for all the mentors that were participating last year, and uh, we do hope it will be the same for next year. Uh, it's a question of uh, exchange, exchange of expertise, exchange of passion regarding content. And uh, um, speaking of exchange, I'm uh, giving the micro to the last uh, speakers of uh, this presentation, uh, and John and Greg uh, from THPM, then uh, they will speak about uh, their vision of the, the incubation, and they were uh, the winner also of um, uh, the first uh, Digital Lab Africa edition last year. Thanks so much. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I'm seeing a few familiar faces from uh, yesterday and some new ones. Let me get out of the light. Look at that bad boy. Um, but firstly, it's, it's awesome to be here. I mean, like if we look at the title of the whole Digi Lab initiative, it's epic, right? In a, in a lab, lots of things happen. We experiment, we bring together different elements. Um, and that's so true of the case of the Digi Lab Africa and the French in in Institute in the sense of we're bringing together different elements, um, content creators, so many partners that are present here today and um, Prof, it's good seeing you again. I was at, um, at your space earlier this year and it's really incredible to see. I think that's half the thing, right? Creating an infrastructure where we get to be creative and, and facilitate that. But enough about that. We are so privileged and, and, and happy to be a year later in terms of this epic opportunity that we got to, to be part of the DigiLab Africa project. And um, yeah, I think we'll kick it off with uh, our first trailer and then take it from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
How's it going, guys? Uh, yeah, so we're TH Films. We are a uh, production company based in Cape Town. Uh, we're really focusing on the digital market, and we're all about trying to be at the forefront of where uh, the audience is and where technology is going, uh, because we're seeing that around us that the old structures are busy failing, so now's the time for young entrepreneurs to take the gap and, and make something out of these opportunities. Uh, so um, that's who we are in a nutshell. We, we uh, do a lot of different things, including narrative TV stuff. We just uh, launched a couple shows on Discovery Channel UK and Eurosports or broadcasting around the whole of Europe. But uh, enough about that. Let's talk about a project, um, the triptych. So a triptych is a three-sided painting. And uh, what we are going for is three concentric stories, three characters that are all involved in the same universe. Um, and we're, we're, we're taking the story uh, of surrounding by um, our main character, Michael, He's a disillusioned agent uh, with, uh, among an organization that's really trying to preserve Western culture and Western ideals, but by in doing so actually um, have, have kind of gone to, too far and, and, and sort of dabbling in nef nefarious things. And um, in my experience, uh, I've, I've worked a lot with UNICEF and a lot of organizations um, in conflict zones and around the world, and I, and I gleaned a lot of what was happening in those, in those countries. I was, I was in the middle of terrorist attacks and in, the, in war zones in Iraq. And I could see on, on, a, on a grand scale how, um, you know, it, it's, it's a conflict and war and, and poverty, it's all, it's all connected. It's, uh, it, there's, if you're talking about governments, big governments, corporations, um, and often it's, it's the third world that uh, gets the raw deal. And uh, so there's a lot of those kind of themes come across in, in, our, in our story and about how this guy's journey going from a, a history of violence to, to also trying to go on a path of redemption and trying to make a difference in, in, um, in dismantling the powers that, uh, that he's propped up. Uh, so we're it's, it's three concentric stories, three incredible characters. You know, there's a lot of violence in the trailer, but it's really a lot more than that. It's, it's really a, a, a character-driven, uh, impactful drama. And we're bringing in the elements of, of you know, born kind of thrillers with, uh, with the complex narrative and the twists and turns of the, of the hierarchy's political intrigue. And, and it's an exciting thing. There's something for everyone. Um, and it's, and it was, what's really we're proud of is it's, it's a nice blend between English and French. Uh, and it's really global. We're talking, you know, bringing in elements of the West, um, US, Canada, also with France and, and, and a big emphasis on Africa. And uh, so, yeah, in terms of uh, everything from the story to the characters, it's a, it's a really nice blend. Yeah, so, whoa, hello, hey, um, whoops, hey, we're back. Everybody awake now, I did that on purpose. Um, no, it's exactly what John is saying. I think the question all of us are asking, right, is now in the shift um, into the full-on digitization of, uh, of content, we're seeing hybridization of different things. Um, and as John mentioned earlier, us working with a gaming brand such as Atari in terms of television content, we as content creators from Africa are asking that very question, is how do we target both a gaming, or a gaming audience as well as a traditional audience, get transition formats such as a transmedia series like the Triptych, and start to create content that can shift us into that space, where you're starting to introduce uh, a non-traditional audience um, into, into a new kind of world. So that's been exciting for us. So what it is, is it's taking a narrative that's global in its appeal, both English, both French, um, and doing it in a way that's really going to um, impact the world. And, and it's been great for us to get back to the journey in terms of our incubation and our time with DigiLab. You know, we started off with an overall idea of what we wanted, wanted to do. Um, and then getting our time, an incredible time in, in, in France. I wish I ate more Nutella French crepes. It's my favorite. It's my downfall. Um, but we were really working, chatting to so many different people, content creators from all over, channels, networks, producers. And it was wonderful to be challenged in terms of our philosophy of what this digitization um, of content looks like, challenging our narrative in terms of our story, um, challenging our perspectives. It was, it was wonderful to go through this whole process of cultural exchange, narrative ideas, thinking about the tech, having a very open, candid conversation about, you know, what didn't work in the past um, and how can we fix that or do we throw it out completely? And that was great for us to go back to the drawing board and be like, you know what, there's an essence here of our original idea. How do we, how do we move? How do we shape? How do we be flexible in an economy that's constantly changing? So that was great for us um, to be able to be challenged in our own creativity but also to stick to our guns with certain elements that we really loved and to have a full-on global cultural exchange. Um, and I think that's 
the great thing that DigiLab does and what happens when you combine infrastructure with, with, with talent like this. So um, in terms of where we're at, it's been brilliant. We, we start with the overall concept. We've now got a full series outline. We have a pilot episode. We have a proof of concept. Um, we have credibility as a production company already going to broadcast with two television shows you know, at the same time just in the last year. Um, incredible working relationships with our mentors, two different strategies in terms of distribution where we can go high tier in terms of proper premium above the line talent versus a different strategy where it's easy, it's more mobile, it's more compact, it's more um, episodic. Um, so it's been an incredible, incredible journey. Um, we also are, you know, without giving too much away, we are, are very close to making big announcements. Um, and uh, we've been putting in the work, but it's also been wonderful to be able to say, and we've had so many conversations here at Discop, um, is that, you know, all of us are pretty much in the same boat, which makes it an in terms of the digital economy, in terms of virtual reality, augmented I'm loving the fact that all of us, all over the world, are, are in the conversation. We're creating content, but it's still an exciting time for entrepreneurs, for, for distributors, for channels, for, for channels. We decide ourselves is what is this thing, digital era, digital age that we're stepping into? What, how does that look at in our own creative flavor to that? Um, so we should be excited. To give you a little bit of insight, yeah, let's... Uh, And Marie's will also be, it'll be about an hour. So I think hers will be slightly shorter than the others, so maybe 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, but, but, but I think Reborn Part 1 and, and Part 2 will be quite long. Uh, so uh, today we had a big session at the nursery, working hard. It's awesome being here in Paris. Um, uh, it's great being at the Group Audience building. And uh, yeah, we're working on our series, Reborn. Currently on our way to do a big workshop session with, what, Antoine? Antoine, yeah. It's going to be brilliant. Yeah, we're learning so much, guys, uh, in terms of our series and both the platform and uh, taking strides to make this an awesome venture every single day. Where you, you pick up his dog. Mm -hmm. Not in this place. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll go, okay, now he's... Two meetings back to back. Uh, one with uh, Lorenzo from Canal Plus and Boyal from uh, Lepal Media. And uh, yeah, it's been great. We're getting all the elements uh, together for the, for the show and absolutely going back to the drawing board in terms of deciding what the best platform's gonna be. Story. And just like with House of Cards, when the, when uh, Michael Underwood character would address the, the yeah, camera. The camera. Uh, yeah, and a big shout out to DigiLab Africa, Frederick and the rest of the team. Thank you for making this a reality. Thanks. And just to round it off, so one of the one of the biggest uh, advantages and, and things that we took away from the incubation was really seeing where the digital trends are going. And and it being a digital series, we really wanted to um, make sure that we're ahead of the curve. And one of the um, things, or two things that we're, we're incorporating is one is interactivity. So you know, imagine if Luke Skywalker turned to the dark side, and that's the kind of interactivity we want to give to the consumer, to the audience, to be able to to actually move the narrative in one way or another and have two very di different endings at the at the end. Um, and the other thing is, in, in one of the storylines, is actually incorporating a lot of VR, which is also opening a lot of different um, uh, um, partners and platforms and giving it a lot of legs, making it a true transmedia series. So really excited about that. Um, so just to round it off, thanks everybody for, for all their, their um, involvement, commitment, support, and it's just been a really great opportunity. So um, thanks everybody for listening. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Hi, great, great um, win. I mean, and you've worked so hard. I've been 
part of that journey or tweeting and retweeting, but uh, big fan. Can you just explain, it says ecosystem here, and that cross video, was that part of the ecosystem or was that another thing you won? So, good question, Mike. Yeah, with us, um, you know, in any project, in any development, oh, thank you so much. Hello, that's better. Um, in every project timeline, um, obviously, there's so many milestones. Um, so for us, it was beautiful in the sense that, um, you know, we kicked off with, with Discop last year, um, won the transmedia section, got, were able to, to do the, um, the incubation in France. And then from there, you know, we, we realized, you know, it's, we've been given this amazing opportunity to leverage the project that we, we really also took it further in terms of getting as much market presence this year as we could. Um, had pr um, presence at the Cannes Film, Film Market and Festival, as well as DIFF, and then we were the first African project ever selected for Cross Video Days, um, which is a big win as well for the continent because, I mean, you know, Europe's been leading the way there in terms of uh, AR and VR and those kinds of projects. So, you know, you know uh, with, with all um, um, gratitude towards DigiLab giving us that opportunity, we were able to, to be able to crack it and, and get in there as a proper, you know, bona fide market-ready project. So that was all part of the process, and I doubt whether we you know, we would have been groomed and ready for cross video days had we not gone through this whole process. Um, and so much so that, you know, that's kind of driven us to the point where we are so close to, to finalizing what our final distribution strategy is going to be. Um, and thank you. Um, awesome. Stick around. We want to catch up with you. <laughs> Cheers. Another question? So I think that the two last presentation uh, explain uh, pretty well what we're trying to achieve, connecting uh, expertise, market, ecosystem, uh, and uh, uh, try to find out what uh, tomorrow contents uh, could be. Uh, so thank you, uh, um, all of you, for attending this presentation. Thank you for all the partners that are working with us uh, on those projects. And uh, uh, please don't forget we uh, launched uh, second edition of the lab, so you can uh, register with your project online on uh, digitallabafrica.com. So um, if you want to be part of uh, this big adventure, join us and, uh, and uh, apply. Thanks a lot.